Welcome back and a very good afternoon. I'm Siddharth Talia. Now we're continuing our uh, uh, coverage of the investigations into the brutal murder of Shraddha Valkar. Now the BJP leader, Mr. Kirit Somaya, as well as Vikas Valkar, who's the father of the late Shraddha Valkar, have arrived at the Maharashtra Deputy Chief Minister's residence. They're meeting Mr. Devendra Fadnavis. Uh, and those are the visuals coming in of that interaction. Uh, uh, also, of course, present is Mr. Kirit Somaya, uh, who's been uh, a former member of parliament and is a BJP leader from uh, Mumbai and uh, we can in fact uh, see Mr. Somaya, Mr. Valkar and of course Mr. Fadnavis uh, having an interaction a short while ago uh, at uh, Mr. Fadnavis's residence. Let me in fact go across to Arunil Sadadekar and uh, Shweta also joins us uh, for uh, their perspective on what's been happening. Arunil, coming to you first, uh, what can you tell us about what's uh, the kind of interaction uh, between Mr. Valkar and of course Mr. Somaya and Fadnavis? What are some of the specific requests or demands being made on the part of Shraddha's father. Well, Shraddha Valkar's father will soon be coming over here at this press conference venue. He will be addressing the media as well about uh, what exactly transpired in the meeting that took place with the Deputy CM of Maharashtra, Mr. Uh, Devendra Fadnavis. Now, uh, Shraddha Valkar's father, Vikas Valkar, he has been claiming that uh, there was a kind of uh, uh, the, the behavior from uh, the local Vasai cops was not uh, up to the mark. There was a delay with respect to the investigation that was being carried out. And that is when Kirit Sumaya had gone to his uh, Vasai residence. He had met uh, Shraddha Valkar's father as well. There was an allegation from uh, the BJP as well that when this entire incident had taken place, when Shraddha Valkar's father, Mr. Vikas Valkar, had approached the Vasai police station, uh, it was the Mahavikas Agadi government that was in power, that was ruling uh, the state of Maharashtra. So kind of a blame game is also being seen uh, between the opposition parties, that is the uh, Mahavikas Agadi and uh, the BJP particularly. With respect to the investigations are concerned, Siddharth, uh, the Saket court in Delhi has extended uh, the judicial custody of uh, Apta Punawala for uh, 14 more days. Now, what exactly Vikas Valkar, uh, uh, when he comes over here, what he divulges, whether he will be giving out more proof uh, regarding uh, Afta Punawala and his role, uh, what all things he basically says, because this is the first time that he will be openly coming out in the media and uh, speaking about hmm. this horrific murder that took place uh, in Delhi. Right, uh, Arunil, we'll of course await more updates from that press conference. Uh, we'll of course keep monitoring uh, what happens there. Uh, let me go across to my colleague Shweta as well. Shweta, the Mumbai police's uh, conduct uh, for the last couple of years pertaining to this case has been under scrutiny, including the fact that Shraddha Valkar had actually complained of abuse on the part of Afta Punawala in a letter that she'd written to the police uh, in November 2020. And that, of course, might have also possibly featured in the discussions uh, on the part of Mr. Valkar with Mr. Fadnavis and Mr. Somaya. Well, absolutely. In fact, here we see that the entire meeting lasted for 25 minutes and uh, very importantly, the conduct of Mumbai police uh, has been a topic of discussion and uh, we are present outside Sagar Bangalore, in fact, and uh, essentially to be talked about the point that how did Mumbai police exactly behave in this entire case? Firstly, as you have correctly mentioned about the letter pertaining of the date 24 November 2020, on the exact date we see that on 24 November 2022, the later emerged out and the kind of behavior and the kind of action Mumbai police took was not satisfactory. This is what Vikas Valkar had to say earlier as well and now when openly he is meeting uh, with, the, uh, ch uh, with the Deputy Chief Minister who is also the Home Minister for Maharashtra, uh, this, is, this is an important point basically that uh, what actually uh, could have happened before the action yes. would have taken by the Mumbai police would have saved the daughter but here we see that late Shraddha Walker's father is very first time he is taking press conference and uh, you know there are chances that he might be giving some more clues and the very letter in fact what we are talking about will be also also a point of discussion in the press conference. Back to you. Right. Uh, uh, not the Mumbai police, just as a point of clarification here. It's the Vasai police that was at the receiving end of those complaints. And it's the Vasai police that uh, Shraddha Valka's father had also approached uh, after he found something suspicious pertaining to Shraddha's absence for an extended period of time. Uh, Arunil, coming back to you now. Um, 
this is going to be a fairly important press conference because not only will be uh, will we be made aware of the contents of that conversation, but also whether or not some kind of proceedings may be initiated against what Mr. Walker has alleged and uh, a lot of people believe has been inaction on the part of the Vasai police uh, for almost a couple of years uh, since the complaint of abuse was first brought to their notice by Shraddha herself. Well, that is right, Siddharth. In fact, if you look at it, there was a complaint that was filed by uh, Shraddha Walkar herself, herself only, and the complaint letter, the complaint letter was first shown by Times Now. In that letter as well, Shraddha Walkar had peculiar and particularly mentioned about the fact that how Aftab Punawala had threatened to kill her, had threatened to cut her body parts, body into several pieces and this is what exactly transpired later on. So the big question here arises is that if at all uh, the Vasai police would have acted at that time, then this horrific and dastardly murder uh, could have been prevented. Why appropriate action was not being taken up at that time? That is the question that uh, comes to the fore and that is why uh, Shraddha Walker's father is meeting the Home Minister of Maharashtra, yes. uh, that is Mr. Uh, Devendra Fadnavis. Is he going to speak only on that or is he going to divulge more details with respect to the, uh, with respect to the in investigation uh, perspective? Because he was, very, he was the father of the victim over here. How exactly Aftar Punawala was behaving with Shraddha? Did Shraddha exactly share anything that is incriminating in this case with him? Will he be right. divulging? Uh, Arunil, uh, we are getting a response from the BJP as well. Mr. Atul Bhatkalkar of the BJP uh, is also joining us. Thank you for speaking to us, sir. Uh, this is a very important meeting that's currently underway between uh, Mr. Uh, Valkar and, of course, Devendra Fadnavis um, along with Kirit Somaya. Uh, what is your expectation now uh, in terms of the way this investigation should proceed? See, basically, Home Minister Devendra Fadnavis ji already ordered inquiry why there was no action. In regarding the letter she had given at that time to the Vasai Virar police. And our gut feeling is that as a Hindu Tawadi, as a BJP uh, worker, BJP office bearers, that there was a pressure on that time police to not to take any action regarding Shraddha Walker's letter. Because that government was Maharashtra Vikas Agadi government. Yes. And the only work that government was doing at that time was protecting this Gunda anti-national element like Aftab, Umar Khalid, like that. And so, because of political pressure, that time police did not act. Because that was not a mere complaint later. In later, she categorically stated that she was fearing that Apta would cut her into the pieces. And what was exactly happened, unfortunately. Mm. And so, police lethargy and whether police was under pressure or not, that has to be investigated. That is the one. Right. Thank you for speaking to us. We'll, of course, keenly await uh, what happens during the course of that press conference as well. Thanks, Arunil, as well as uh, Shweta, for also speaking to us now.